What's going on, everybody? It's a YouTube Troy, K.A. Yeah, Papa Birdo, and I wanted to talk about the new Storm 4 Japan Expo trailer that came out. And, uh, you know, we got a bunch of new shit. Uh, I did notice in the trailer they had uh, the story mode cutscenes for Madara Besser's Guy, which starts today on the anime, and that's fucking awesome. Uh, but basically, I want to talk about all the new things we saw. It was an extensive trailer. When you know some of the old stuff we've already seen, and by the way, the the the, the song, the song, the kind of boom song, made the trailer just that much more better. You know, I feel like the song kind of topped off the trailer pretty nicely. Uh, so you know, I think I need to just specify about Madara real quick because we haven't he, we hadn't seen him yet. Uh, you know, on game we hadn't seen gameplay of him. Uh, you know, I, I, the ultimate, the ultimate looks like is, uh, Meteor Ultimate, except that it's like Sid's Meteors. Uh, he can use Limbo from the manga, which is good. I'm not sure if that's one of his combo finishers or his grab. I really couldn't tell all that good. I apologize about that, but, um, you know, I didn't go too in depth with that because I was just fucking wrecking my brain and I just couldn't, uh, get down to that. But, yeah, and, and, and then I don't know what the fuck they were trying to do with Kaguya. I guess they want to keep her surprised still. Because you literally fucking, well, not literally, but you got epilepsy from just trying to decipher her moveset. Because when they were showing gameplay of her, the fucking screen flickered like a hundred times and shit. Uh, but you know what? She looks like a decent character. Um, honestly, like, we couldn't see too much of her. So the only speculation you can make is that she's going to be uh, a decent character at the very least. Uh, I also saw like the starting... Well, the startup for the Team Ultimate with Rin, Kid Kakashi, and Kid Obito. I really don't know what the fuck they're going to do with that. I also saw Setsu Obito in there getting his ass beat. Which, you know, pretty much means that he's playable. And I know a lot of people already confirmed him playable. Uh, but because on the scan, what I saw was something along the lines of story mode, you know, um, screenshots. I was like, eh, I was skeptical. But now we got full confirmation it's going to be playable free battle. Um, so then, what's the next thing? Uh, we saw a little bit of Guy, right? Uh, uh, it, was, it wasn't a lot, but it was still good enough for you to kind of get an idea of how Guy's gonna play out. And, you know, I'm not a big fan of Guy, honestly, guys. I, I'm not, you know. I, I personally just think he's one of those characters that I will never use, so I don't really care for him. But I can appreciate what they're doing right now with, you know, this, this specific fight versus Madara. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, they showed Naruto the last and Sasuke from the last doing their team ultimate, which was pretty cool, you know, I mean, I really didn't think too much about it because we already seen, uh, kind of, um, the, 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 the gist of what they're gonna do on their team ultimate. It's gonna be just like, in my opinion, she's gonna be like the revolution team ultimate with Sakura, right? The team seven team ultimate where they jump in the sky and they fucking hit you down with like, you know, Susano and QB arms and shit, but still, you know, I, I again, I appreciate that, okay, it's, it's more characters, there's more characters, and then they announced that, you know, Boruto and Sarada, and I believe Kakashi from, with the Hokage costume, they're gonna be uh, basically pre-order bonuses, I'm not counting the last, because like I said, they're gonna be in the game, it's just that you're gonna have to unlock them, uh, if you want them uh, in your actual game, you, you like you know you don't have to get a DLC code. The DLC code is only gonna be for if you want the the character unlocked right away, just like Minato from Storm Two. Uh, I think I said this on my last video, but like uh, Minato from from Storm Two, basically when you got the collector's edition uh, in Europe, they gave people uh, a, like I don't know what was it, a code where I'm sorry for my phone. But um, they gave people a code where you can unlock Minato right off the bat and use him. As opposed to, if you didn't have the code, you would have to like... I think he was one of the last characters to unlock, honestly. Uh, Minato was just one of those characters that got unlocked right before you unlocked the whole roster. And, I mean, I don't know why they're doing that. I, I, I don't know why they decided to do that, but oh well, right? For those of you that are pre-ordering anyways, pre-ordering isn't a big deal to me. Uh, five bucks, you know, you put five bucks down and you can get the game or you can just go on Amazon and you don't get charged until they ship that shit. So it's all good. Uh, well, let me know what you guys think of the trailer, man. I really, really enjoyed it. And that kind of boon, Sonya, was fucking beautiful, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm out. Peace.